Until the end of September, 97,012 homes have already been sold in the Greater Toronto Area. That's the highest ever in Trump's history for the first three quarters of any given year. But we are all crying for not enough homes for sale and there's no inventory. First, let's look at the city of Toronto. We can see slightly less sales across the city comparing to last year, but a huge difference for new listings. This continued imbalance of supply and demand caused the average price to raise again, while detached homes enjoy the biggest gain. While in the York region, the number of new listings was so low such that the sales to new listing ratio is as high as 70%, making the buyers having very few choices to select from. Therefore, the competition is really high, and as a result, the prices are high enough to touch the sky for all types of properties. Therefore, we say, especially if you are actively looking to purchase a property, the good inventory is simply vaporized when comparing to the strongest demand we have ever seen. So let me give you an example. Last week, we uploaded a listing in Newmarket. In less than one week, we had over 2,000 organic views of our listing page and over 9,000 views of our video on YouTube and Facebook. On Saturday, when we hosted an open house during the Thanksgiving weekend, because we had to limit the number of people in the house, there had been a lineup waiting to just see the house for the entire duration of the open house. If that doesn't give you a clear picture of the strong demand, let me also tell you this. Up to this point, within the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board, TRAB, there have been 97,000 properties reported being sold year to date. In 2020, there were 95,000 homes sold for the entire year going back to the most active year in TRAP's history in 2016, we had 113,000 homes sold. And by end of September in 2016, the year-to-date number was only 89,660. What that tells us is right now, due to the low interest rate and everything else that's happening around the world, there are many, many more people having the financial means and desire to purchase those homes in the greater Toronto area. And there are just not enough of them. And if we look for the developers to get more supplies into the market, here is another issue. In 2020, because of the pandemic, builders stopped to build. And this spring, when people try to ramp up to build more homes, the construction cost and the lumber price went through the roof. Now the cost came down a bit, we are in a shortage of labor again. Now we finally see many pre-construction projects being released or being marketed, but it will take three to five years before those buildings will be completed. So this was why in the election, we are all looking at different ways to resolve the issue with the supplies because we need to see more homes coming to the inventory. And that's because otherwise the benefit of low interest rate has been lost due to increased demand. So in today's video, we looked at the latest market stats in Toronto and York region. And we talked about the interesting phenomenon, why we have so many sales, but still have no inventory. Please do reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions you have, or if you would like to share your opinion on housing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.